So before we get into this video guys, I would like to apologize for having such a wonky upload schedule and not being as consistent as I was in the beginning. I know most of you may not see an issue in this, but I made a promise to myself when I started this channel that I would be consistent with weekly uploads, and I just want to try to stay true to that promise to myself, as well as to you guys, because it's not fair to you guys uh, who love consistent content, and you don't really get that. I know some of you guys work on Sundays or Saturdays, so you'd like to come home and see something, you know, uploaded by one of your favorite YouTubers, because I know I'm your top favorite. I have to be. I am the best. With all the joking aside though, let's get right into this week's video. So you want to purchase the Ant Shack Ant Tower Paris, but you're unsure of the quality of the product or even the pros and cons of the Ant Tower. I know when I was going to purchase this product, it took a long time to decide if it was worth it to buy for my ants, and I can say without a doubt that I'm very pleased with this nest. So the first thing that I want to go over is the build quality. The quality of this product is like all of Anshak products. It is 3D printed with high quality plastic and features some amazingly clear acrylic on two sides of this nest for the extra visibility to see your colony while they are carrying out their day-to-day -day ant routines. Whether it's tending to their young or bringing food back to the colony from the outworld, this nest is a very nice desk piece and is definitely an eye catcher when it comes to how natural the chambers are inside this nest. I highly recommend not putting a heat cable too close to the plastic because it can melt the nest and potentially burn or kill your ants. As you can see, I put my 15 watt heating cable too close to the nest and it melted the plastic inside of the nest. The nest also features some red plastic to cover each side of your nest so you don't disturb your ants with lights in your room. I have a lot of trouble getting the plastic on and off because it's just very tight fit. So be sure you're very patient when removing it. You don't want to shake your ant nest everywhere and potentially kill your ant queen or even workers because that queen needs her workers in order to survive and grow the colony and those workers also don't deserve to die because of carelessness. I have to say for this nest being as small and compact as it is, the hydration system in this nest is super easy. You just stuff uh, the cotton wool provided with the nest down in the hole in the top of the nest I used an ink pen to stuff the cotton uh, down the hole. It was super easy using an ink pen because it fit perfect. Uh, you can hydrate this nest as often as you see fit. And I highly recommend checking to see how much humidity your ant likes uh, in their nest before hydrating it because some ants hate having a lot of humidity where some love the higher humidity levels. I find it best to water my tower every two to three days. Uh, the ants can also drink from this. So depending on how much you hydrate the nest, uh, depends on how much I guess they, they stay hydrated. Uh, inside the nest there's micro holes for the ants to drink from so it's really nice that they offered this inside of this ant nest just be sure you do not overfill this ant nest with water it can happen and it's very easy to do so be sure you're keeping a close eye i highly recommend doing a few squirts from a syringe uh, and then seeing you know how much gets absorbed into the cotton because again you don't want to drown them the next thing i would like to talk about is the size of this nest and how well, it will serve your ants growing over time. Uh, ultimately, with this colony of Campanatus pennsylvanicus ants, I believe I can keep them in there for at least another year before having to move them into something new or even adding a new ant tower Paris. Because the good thing with Ant Shack and other, you know, uh, ant nests from other uh, places such as Tar Hill Ants, for example, you can connect pr other nests to this so that way you add more space uh, for the colony to grow if you want to keep them in the current nest or you can just simply move them. So overall this nest stands 4 inches tall and is 2 inches wide on each side making this a perfect nest to move your colony into after they grow out of their test tube setup. And it also includes uh, when you order this is some vinyl tubing and a test tube adapter so moving the colony is a breeze. Just watch for escapees when removing the test tube cotton uh, before attaching it to the nest. You definitely don't want to kill any workers trying to escape or even the queen because I know with my Campanatus ants every time I would remove the plastic the queen would try to run out because she would get scared and freak out. And while on the topic of escaping do not keep tiny or small ants in this nest. They can escape through the small micro holes inside of the nest or even squeeze through the top where the acrylic uh, and the nest meet. Uh, as you can see in this video I'm trying to point out where they may be able to escape. It's very unlikely to happen but you still don't want to take that risk because there's nothing worse than having ghost ants inside your house or even something such as a uh, tapanoma cecile ants running around your house believe me i know how that is because i have them in my bathroom and i hate it so you don't want to take the risk trust me 
Cleaning the nest after you move the ants out is super easy. You just grab the top of the nest and pull up, then the acrylic will slide apart from the plastic frame of the nest. From there you can use hot water and a good disinfectant to clean the plastic. I highly recommend using uh, Flukers and a bacterial disinfectant scrub. It features non-toxic cleaning solution and a brush on the top of the container so you can really clean the dirt and other gunk of the nest uh, out from those hard to reach places. Just be sure whenever you're using this Flukers solution, you use hot water to wash the nest, let it sit, then you use the Flukers solution, the, dis the disinfectant solution on the nest, let that sit for about three to five minutes, and then you use hot water to wash it off and make sure you let it sit to dry because the last thing you want is to you know put a disinfectant in with your nest, uh, your ants, sorry. Uh, it shouldn't kill them because it is non-toxic but you still don't want to take the risk. It is a disinfectant after all. So overall this nest is seriously the perfect nest to move a new colony into with how easy it is to assemble, clean, and maintain. You really can't go wrong with this nest and if you pair it with a medium sized outworld from Anshack as you see in this video, you have the perfect setup for your colony to grow big and healthy. If I had to rate this nest, I would give it an 8 out of 10. The reason I give it an 8 out of 10 is simply because it only comes with one color, a brown frame with a tan nest. And the plastic can melt if you're using a heating cable and you put the heating cable too close to the nest. I know the color thing is something super tiny to complain about, but I like a little bit of variety in my ant nest. You know, I like to be able to show off the ant nest and a few colors because I know my Tar Heel ant, uh, ant nest, my mini horse, I have one in blue and one in red. So it's something tiny to complain about, but please do not let the lack of color um, choices sway you away from this nest because it is the perfect nest, like I said before, to put your ants in after they are ready to get out of their founding stages. So that's going to be it for this week's video guys. Uh, please check the description for all products mentioned in this video and be sure to check out all the Ant Shack products as well. They have a wide variety of uh, ant nests and accessories as well as outworlds and other good ant keeping things on their shop. A lot of their purchases come with a free liquid feeder so please take that opportunity to uh, get that free liquid feeder because they come in handy. They, they seriously, it's great to just drop one in your nest or in your outworld and leave it there for about three to four days you know because I like to go on vacation I go on vacation a lot so it's nice to be able to just drop that in there and know that my ants are staying hydrated or they're getting their uh, carbohydrates all products uh, that I mentioned in this video will be in the description so guys please don't forget to like comment and subscribe for all the ant keeping related things I'll see you guys in the next video and I hope you guys have a great week we'll see you later bye